Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about some more Menko that I acquired from that comic book store that I love. But the thing is, is that these Menko are a little bit different than the ones that I showed you last time. These are rectangular Menko. So I picked up four of these rectangular Menko here. And these rectangular ones are pretty interesting. They're a lot different because on the other side of the cards, there's some sort of baseball game played on the other side. Very interesting. Now, I'll roughly translate what each of these say. Um, I went through and, and looked up what they say. So, right here, this says, Dead Ball Loot, which would be Dead Ball. So, a dead ball in baseball. And then, this one is translates to all out okay so that would be you have all three outs the next card ah yes this one roughly translates to fly so probably fly ball and then this is strike so that would be a strike and that would be a fly ball now keep in mind i don't know how the game is played I can just translate the words that they're talking about. And I know there's, there's a baseball game because down here you got some pictures of baseball stuff. But uh, this one's actually really interesting and, and it's easy for me to determine which one this is because I remember from my Japanese class that this is three. In Japanese here, the three lines. Very easy to remember because it's, it's three lines. But uh, this is actually three base hit. So that, that, that's hit there. Hitu. So... Um, that would be like a triple, basically, that y if you got this side of the card somehow. I don't know how to get... Like, once again, I don't know how the game is played, but if you got that side, you get a triple. And here, once again, if you can recognize that word, that's strike again. And the last one here, you can probably recognize that again. That's hitu, just like the last card, how the hitu is down the side there. And then this one is actually just out. So you get hit and out. Now we'll take a look at the important part of the cards. Now, it's quite surprising to me that the game on the cards has nothing to do with Mario. But there's like Mario stuff printed all over them. Uh, I guess that's just how Menko cards are. Like the game is totally unrelated to the cards that they're printed on. But I really do wish that, that the game did have something to do with Mario. Like that, that would be a lot cooler, you know. I'd, I'd actually be inclined to play the game. If it had something to do with Mario, you know, that would be a lot cooler. This is probably my favorite one here, once again. It's Mario holding the mushroom. That's always a sweet picture. Oh, this one's also cool, though, too. You got Mario jumping, kicking a Goomba, and ooh, almost landed on a spiny. Here you got Mario between two pipes. Oh, it looks like it's a post-water level, because you got some flying cheap cheap up there. And a paratroopa. In here, you got Mario kicking a Koopa, it looks like. Or a Hammer Brother, because as you can see, there's a Koopa there. It, it looks different. So that might be a Hammer Brother, but it also might be a Koopa. No, I don't know why it looks so much different than this Koopa. But then we also got Lakitu up here and a Fire Flower up there. And if you didn't notice, there was Lakitu on the bottom corner there on the last card. And these aren't actually just like normal cards. They're actually made of thick cardstock. Which I actually really like. It keeps the cards in a lot better condition than like a normal paper card would. So before I move on to talking about more of the round Manko that I acquired to my last trip to the comic book store, I am going to talk about my Series 1 Super Mario Brothers Keshi that I got at that same store. Now an interesting story about this figure is that I actually ordered one of these from either eBay or King Keshi and it never arrived. I ordered it like probably like a year or two ago. Never came. So finally, I have one now, which is cool. I, unfortunately, I was ordering a blue one. And the only one they had here was the yellow one. I would prefer the red one, obviously. But the blue one, I would honestly prefer over the yellow one here. Because Mario actually wears blue, you know, and uh, not yellow. But, you know, the figures are off color anyways. That's how they're supposed to be. So I don't really mind it at all, really. But I would just prefer to have a blue guy. But he's still really cool. And what's really cool is that he kind of fits 
with Peach a little better than the other Mario that comes with this set. Because this is the Mario that comes with the Super Mario Bros. 2 set, which is where this Peach comes from. As you can see, he's like significantly smaller than her. And this one fits a lot better with her. So, it's almost weird because it's like, you got small Mario here, and then he turns into big Mario, you know? Because then he's more proper sized for Peach. Because if you remember, in a lot of the Mario games, after you beat the game, the newer ones, the, the SNES ones... It'll actually give you a mushroom just so that you'll be the same height as Peach during the end scene. But it's obviously, it's after you beat the game, so it doesn't matter. But it's just something that I've noticed. It's kind of weird. But that's like before the mushroom. And as you can see, he's holding the mushroom. So it's before he eats it. And then he eats it and he becomes Big Mario. So now we'll go over some more of the Keshi that I picked up from the comic book shop. Here's one for Pinball 1983 by Nintendo. Here's one for Baseball 1983. Must be Baseball on the Famicom. So this was a baseball game that came out before the NES even came to America. Here we have Urban Champion. We've got two kids fighting on a street corner. I don't know. <laughs> And then we have Yi R Kung Fu. Never heard of this game, but might be cool. Who knows? And as usual, I've saved the best for last. One of the lesser known Mario games, Wrecking Crew. Now, I used to love this game, and the artwork on the chip is actually really sweet. But for people who don't know Wrecking Crew, the graphics look like this. That's supposed to be Mario right there. As you can see, he's Mario wearing a hard hat, basically. And what you do is you wreck buildings because you're a wrecking crew. Very simple game, but I still think it's really fun. I think it's fun to play a game where you wreck a bunch of stuff. It's always cool, you know. 